Atheism is a false sense of enlightenment. Um, and I think it has a lot to do with technology that we see, like, see around us today. You can go back and read about Greek philosophers denying God thousands of years ago. You can read books from Charles Darwin a few hundred or a hundred years ago or two hundred years ago. Um, you can read the stuff in between. You know, there's always been men that's denied God. So this real this idea that atheism is like this new like you know we this science movement this new age movement whatever where we're just enlightened with scientific facts and we've we can see beyond the realms like supposing that the bible that thousand year old book is foolishness because you know, look at the technology we got. We have so much figured out. And it's just not the case. And it's, like I said, it's a false sense of enlightenment. And most of the people you talk to, 90% of them, they couldn't argue in any respect scientifically about creation science or cosmology or evolutionary biology or anything like that. They couldn't tell you a rip, a rip about it. But they just say, yeah, I believe in science and facts. Like, I've talked to people, multiple people that say that. I used to kind of debate when I was in high school. I used to kind of debate with my science teacher about evolution and stuff. And all the students, were, of course, were on his side about it because he was the teacher. And they just kind of were like, no matter what he said, you know, it, he was right. And they believed in the facts and all this stuff and it's like that's how most of the world is that's how most people are yes you will have this small percentage of people that I, that have practice debating people and christians and stuff that have like you know scientific arguments and but it's a very small percentage most of these people that are just worried about living their life and raising their kids and buying a house and buying a fancy car and going to college Honestly, most people don't give a rip about any of that stuff. And this world, you don't have to be, like, sophisticated in your mind philosophically. Like, you don't have to be extremely smart and wise to find God. You don't have to have all the, know all this stuff, all these facts. Like... Jesus, or it says in uh, 1 Corinthians that the foolishness of the cross, you know, he used the preaching of the foolishness of the cross to bring people, you know, the, he confounded the mighty through weak things, which I'm paraphrasing this, but he confounded the mighty through weak things and he confounded the wise through foolishness of the preaching of the cross. And it says, not very many wise men after the flesh are called. And basically what that means is, not very many people that are wise in this world, with their wisdom, are called. And, and it just goes to show you this false sense of enlightenment with atheism. And they are not ahead of the times. Like, you are not ahead of the times. You're far from it. Um, the Bible, even in the Bible days, it says, he that has sin in his heart, there is no God, he's a fool. Paraphrase that. But, the fool has sin in his heart, there is no God. So, they were dealing with that thousands of years ago. So this is, you're nothing new. Like, you're not more sophisticated than anybody even if you want to call yourself an agnostic and stay kind of neutral you know science you can't use science to explain spiritual things you know and it says the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek wisdom so 
you know, the Greeks, they, they seek wisdom, like philosophy and stuff. And then you got the Jews, they want to see a sign. They want to see, you know, a miracle. So there's different people in this world and atheism is nothing new of the times and it's a religion and you have to have faith in it just like anything else. And God's going to judge us by that one day. Have a good day.